Before these two uh, go, uh, Bill Burr has bigger problems anyway, Patrice. What's that? I am convinced Bill Burr was the white guy that laughed a little too hard at the Dave Chappelle bit. Oh, dude, that was another thing Man Cow was doing to me. He was going, Dave Chappelle's on drugs, right? And I'm like, no, man, he's not on drugs. He goes, yeah, he is. He's on drugs. And I'm like, dude, I, I've hung out with the guy. He's not on drugs. And then he goes, he goes, I just saw that clip on Oprah. He's like, uh, I know people who are on drugs. He's on drugs. And then, boom, then they go, like, into the fucking commercial. No, nope. uh, Patrice and I discussed that as I was driving back uh, from Philly. And uh, Patrice has got the, the angle on it. The guy's nuts. Dude. I, I, the guy I, is nuts. I, my sister is, is has the same look in her eye. And if you, that, Dave needs help. So, well, you think so? I haven't heard the clip or anything. Bill, do you think the, you can't hear a clip? You have to. No, watch. you got to watch him, Billy. Do you think it was it was uh, the white guy he said that was laughing at the clip? I'm gonna guess Neil Brennan. Well, <laughs> well, if you look at the Time magazine, this shit's all documented, yo. If you look at the Time magazine thing, Neil's quote is that that basically they were corroborating each other. It's it, so Neil's quote um, in that in that Time magazine, the one with uh, that had Bill Gates, you know promoting Xbox 360 in it. Yeah. And and Neil goes, um, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing, it, he's like, Dave said people are laughing at me, which he was talking about on Oprah, and Neil says, how can we laugh at you? How can we make you look like a fool? You run the show. And Neil was his head writer and yeah. all that, yeah, and, and really good friend, no by one, the way. No one can make you look like a fool. And Neil, uh, uh, according to Chappelle, Neil never called Dave after he went AWOL. How can you not call? Listen, if I'm on your coattails my entire life, and and my it fuck friendship, it, maybe we're friends, but on a business level, fifty million dollars flew across the continent. <laughs> right. I'm gonna fucking try to find my half a million dollars or whatever the fuck I'm right. entitled to. Well, Chappelle was on Oprah, and uh, he was doing a skit. It was obviously, uh, you know. A, a hardcore black skit or whatever, and some white guy was laughing a little too hard, and, and Dave was like, oh, now they're laughing at me instead of with me. And and I turned uh -huh. to Lindsay and went, Bill Burr. Oh. <laughs> Bill Burr wrecked the whole thing. <laughs> Bill Burr oh. wrecked the whole thing. Jesus. Fucking Bill Burr is Mrs. Neary's cow. Because basically you were the only, <laughs> it, it was you and what's-his-name were the only white guys that were in skits. And I'm like, he had to be on set. I bet you Bill was laughing too hard. Dave said that motherfucking honky. And, and Bill, you blew up everyone's spot. Oh, uh, that's it. I destroyed the Chappelle show. I, 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 I destroyed Vince. I destroyed the Chappelle show. I want to see. You know. This is Neary. And I didn't knock out Man Cow. I want to. I want to see if this is the clip really fast. We I got. We got some O'Leary. O'Leary. Yeah. O'Leary. Yeah, we got some uh, Oprah <laughs> clips. Funny. Chappelle on Oprah. Listen to this. I think this is the clip where Dave explains why he walked away. Everybody wants to know why'd you walk away from fifty million dollars. Well, I wasn't walking away from the money. Yeah. I was walking away from the circumstances. Uh huh. They they were coming with the newfound plateau. Yeah. It takes a while when you punch through uh, to adjust to the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It was completely outside of my frame of reference. I've been in show business since I was 14, and uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens, and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When, I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal, and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through and he's waving a gun on the street screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we hear those stories. And it always so happens Dave didn't take the money and came off as being crazy. Seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. He never, he never answered anything. He was but just... The, 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 and you, Oprah goes, and... Right, right. Yeah. She was getting frustrated. I understand his point, but he's talking about people that kind of broke through... Uh, to that next plateau, and as they were riding it out, caught a lot of shit, uh, made a lot of money, but but then they're in the tabloids and they get ripped apart. Was it racial though? Because he pointed out two black people. He pointed out Mariah and uh, mm -hmm. Martin Lawrence. Was he I saying don't... that something about when when blacks get to a certain level? Or was he just talking about celebrity in general? I think celebrity in general. I, I don't know. But Mariah it... Carey is an awful example because <clears throat> she was already a multimillionaire before she uh, signed that. Yeah, million it seems deal. like all right, Dave. You made the plateau. But you were up on the plateau for like five minutes and decided that it was, you know, a little too much to uh, deal with. Yep. And then he did everything he thought was going to get him not to be the person that broke through 
and they ripped apart and labeled as crazy. And they labeled him as twice as crazy. <laughs> but if he, if Chappelle's a guy, like, he is in charge. If he's doing like a bit where he's like, I feel like I'm being a sambo or whatever he felt like, uh -huh. just don't do that bit. I mean, you are the boss. You could definitely fucking he, veto anything dude, you want to veto. He could do 80 sambo bits where he shuffles and, and tap dances, and it wouldn't cancel out the comedy that he put on that show that was fantastic. And cutting edge, and and what I think would be empowering to black people. It was uh, amazing shit. <laughs> I just saw I just saw an episode that I hadn't seen because Comedy Central is still cha chinging oh, yeah. away at that fucking show. Empowering to black people. That sounded great. It well, it absolutely wasn't. I never talk like that. I know. That's why I was <laughs> laughing. But uh, you know, he got away with a lot of stuff that a lot of people wouldn't have gotten away with, and it was funny shit. That fucking when they went back in time and looked at themselves as slaves. <laughs> That is some of the funniest fucking shit ever. And uh, he, he walked away from it. Wait. Well, he, he he talks in this next clip about social irresponsibility. And, hey, Obi, you you, you got to understand that that listening to clips is is doing this thing an injustice of really understanding. No, Patrice, I'm so with you. I, I, I went home after we talked on the phone. I had it on DVR. I watched the entire thing. There is something in that guy's eyes that is just not right. It's, yeah, It's not. These clips are... Because he's still a funny guy no matter what. Very funny. He's, he's a genius. He is a genius. But it's... it's it Man, that dude... And if you watch the, the fucking show, man, Oprah's heart, it starts to go out to the dude, man. Yeah. She starts to realize yeah. what's going on, and she stops trying to really interview him. Well, this is the best. Uh, this is the best clip from the whole thing. It's uh, where he talks about social irresponsibility with the bits he was coming up with, and he also mentions uh, Bill Burr laughing too much and blowing up everyone's spot. <laughs> It's you, Bill, isn't it? It was you, Bill. And I called in, man, and I cursed, and he dumped out. Yeah, now I'm going to call Oprah, me and Dave are going to argue over the phone. Wasn't it, Bill? There's a Wasn't thing. it? <laughs> it was in your tone, Dave. It, it's Bill Burr that he talks about here. I'm convinced of it. Listen to this clip. Like, there's this one sketch we did that was about the, this pixie that would appear whenever racist things happen. Whenever someone make you feel like they calling you that n-word uh -huh. but don't say it and it was it was funny and it, the premise of the sketch was that every race had this like pixie this like racial complex and uh but the but the pixie was in blackface now blackface is a very difficult image but the reason i had chosen blackface at the time was because this was going to be the visual personification of the n-word it was right. it the it was a it was a good spirit or intention behind it. But what I didn't consider is how many people watch the show and how the way people use television is subjective. So then when I'm on the set and we're finally taping the sketch, somebody on the set that was white laughed in such a way I know the difference of people laughing with me and people laughing at me. And it was the first time I'd ever gotten a laugh that I was uncomfortable with. Hmm. Not just uncomfortable, but like, should I fire this person? <laughs> Bill, <Jesus>. comment? <laughs> what about that? I, I mean, I don't know. I thought that that was fucking interesting. <laughs> Bill, comment? I am convinced it's Bill Burr blew up this whole fucking Chappelle thing. Look, if we look got him on the phone. Were you on set? Hold on, Bill. Were you on set for that bit? If you look at my reel from the Chappelle show, I had nothing to do with that sketch. Were you on <laughs> set for that says, bit? I either refer them to my lawyer. I'm not answering any of them. Not, not, not only were you on set, but while he was doing that, you were laughing and stomping and pointing and yelling, three-fifths of a vote, three-fifths of a vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, we've spent a lot of time with you on this radio show. Uh, All I want to know, were you on set? Uh, listen, I'll tell you something right now. None of this Call shit, Oprah! It was Bill Burr! None of the shit I've done on your show is, uh, is admissible as evidence. You can't bring up other crimes that I've done to convict me of that crime. I do know that shit. I was watching that going, holy shit, Bill Burr blew up everyone's spot.
Bill is one of the least racist people I've ever seen. That isn't true. You're, you're just a fucking white guy with an arsenal. You yeah, set the yeah. bar so fucking high. Maybe that's it. I'm just looking at, like, yeah, yeah I could look at clan members and yeah. go, he's a reasonable man. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bill's a good guy. He didn't laugh at Mississippi burning. <laughs> and you know what? Chappelle is a little nuts because one guy over laughing during one sketch, the whole key is, like, the whole time Dave goes, well, I did this and I did that. All right, man. So it was a misfire. Redo the bit or or talk to the guy and ask him what the problem but, is. But see, Lordy, that's why you like like analyzing this thing like on on like a, a certain level is not the right place to go because you can rationalize out of each of those things. It's like it's like if Opie goes, "Hey, man, this motherfucker was laughing at me." Well, you know what? How about this? Get the fuck out the studio, boss. That's the boss talking. Right. Get out of my face. Stop laughing. I'm, you, you know what? You're distracting me with your at me laughs. Now get out of here, fuckface. That's the. That's what. It's so easy to to just say that. It's it, you, that's what I'm saying. Each thing, like, and Oprah wouldn't. She wouldn't go there because at at some point she knew what was going on, man. At some point well, she knew what was going. You know, on. either 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 he's crazy or has just the the greatest ethics that I've ever seen because. It, if I was being offered fifty million dollars, I would stand up on this console naked and have people laugh at my penis and and wouldn't care. I wouldn't fucking care. Well, now he's saying he's gonna he would come back, but that fifty million he wants to give to you know what I, causes. I always, felt, I always honestly felt that Dave didn't want. Dave likes to be on the outside looking in, and he got sucked into the whole. You know. Uh, you can't go anywhere kind of famous. You know yeah, what I mean? They, yeah. they, did, they were doing this little sketch show on Comedy Central. I mean, I guess South Park kind of blew up, but I mean, you know, for it to take off the way the fucking thing did, I don't think, uh, and then he's going out doing his shows and everybody's yelling out shit. I mean, I always looked at it like until you're in that guy's position with all that kind of pressure on him, I mean, I, ca I can't really sit there and be, oh, you know you know what I would have done if, if – uh, I would have done it this way. I would have done it that way. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, he thought the bits were socially uh, social irresponsibility on his which part. Is, which is such a pain that black people have to go through that you motherfuckers don't, is that y'all can do any goofy shit you want and not think about how it makes the white people look. Don't fucking well, the black think people shouldn't so think hard. That. He shouldn't think that. Holy shit, right. that was genius stuff. It was hysterically funny. It was, it was, it was, it was great shit. But and and some of those to be as funny as you want to be, you got to be uninhibited. And sometimes you're gonna have people go, "Oh, that was you know, I didn't like that whole thing when he where he put on the black face and tapped, you know." Was that oh, happening? A lot of black guys probably coming up to him going, "Hey, Dave, I like your, your someone show." Someone got but, to him. But you know what the fuck, man? You're making us look like uh, sambos. We gotta represent. We gotta represent. All the black people, that's a, that's a pressure. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking pressure. See, now, you guys got to get past the fucking representing for each other and yes. just do what's... Uh, I, look, I agree with you, man. I Jesus. fucking absolutely agree with you because... I, and I only agree with you because I'm ex, ex, exolving, absolving black people. I, I'm saying get over it because white people can do it. White people can just run around and do anything they want. Jim Carrey can dress as a... Green hunk of shit. He can dress as a, a fuck. He can play a pixie. The, whatever he can, he wants to do. No one, no no white people sit around and go. Ah, oh, Jim Carrey's making us look like a buffoons. Right. Well, uh, Chappelle brought up a great point on Oprah saying, uh, "What's going on with the black man when he gets any kind of success? Hollywood wants to throw the black man in a dress." <laughs> And then he has an example. He's on a set. He's doing a movie, and it wasn't even a, a scene that was written. And all of a sudden, there's a dress in his trailer, and the director or somebody comes in and goes, yeah, you're going to break out of prison with, I think it was Martin Lawrence, and uh, you're going to break out of prison as a prostitute, a black prostitute. Isn't that, that's, that's chapter funny. eight of the uh, racist handbook. Yeah, and Dave Chappelle's like, I ain't fucking wearing the dress, don't feel comfortable, and they were so bummed out, and they're trying to talk him into wearing the dress. He made a pretty good point, you know? Yeah. He goes, I don't need to wear a dress to be funny. If those guys need to wear a dress to be funny, then so be it. But I'm not doing that. And what? He also go, but so-and-so wore it, so-and-so wore yeah. it, so-and-so. And he goes, well, doesn't that make it kind of hack at this point? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. He did say it. That was so good, man. Right. They, they really, if anybody... He, tra did... he trashed Milton Berle, though, with the dress thing. I'm like, come on. All right. Uh, Milty wore the dress, but he was funny for other things as well. He wasn't a hack. And it was in the 50s, and he didn't have the freedom Comedy Central gave Dave. 
the Milton Berle wore a dress. What was that, 1954? Yeah, we got to stick up for Whitey, man. Absolutely. Milton and his big cock. That's right. Big, big homo Milton Berle. <laughs> All right.